are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. from Rima. It's 9.09. It's Thursday, 7th of March, and you're tuned in to Culture Daily's big conversation on 3 Music TV and, of course, simulcast on Plus 89.9. My name is Cyril, a.k.a. MCEO, a.k.a. Fresh and Cutie, a.k.a. Only Liz Nemesis. <laughs> and I'm here... Uh, uh, today, we'll go fight. Uh, <laughs> and I'm here with the man, Olile Salvador, DTS. Now, now that I'm here, I'll do the intro for you. DTS. <laughs> Charlie, Mari, Mari. Mari, what's good, man? Oh, Charlie, there's your tribe of this thing. Oh, you're a guy, you know? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Days, uh, What is her name? The way I'm seeing it, we have to ask well. Oh, oh no, no, no. Let's just do it. Same old, same old. It's the same old. But you don't introduce me well. You are, oh, sure, you are afraid no, of spell no, day. No, we'll do, we'll do official we'll lunch. do official this thing. Lunch. Mm, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Inauguration. Lenny Lomote, my twin, my uncle for today, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Lelo. See, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't like how you have ice in my closet. Oh no, no, you are the one spying like on me. Yeah, 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 ah, no, no, constantly. No, no. Yeah, I don't understand. I, I told her that when the love lock phone, it be spiritual. <laughs> There's no amount of I don't love you. Go oh, no, 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 no. You go and lock up by the by man, The guy who lock and say that, I'll go down there. Yeah, yeah. So the team is together here today. We are missing uh, Jay. This is a conversation I would have loved Jay to be a part of, but nonetheless, we'll hold it down and we'll deliver as usual. Now, you've seen it on social media. You've seen a team. Of, of of well let me even go before i go to the team we all we always come and complain june comes it rains for two minutes and people die there's floods there's trash everywhere um we're we're, we're we're battling we're still dealing with cholera and typhoid and things in the age where there's ai and people are trying to go to space we are still dealing with cholera and debt and it's always a mystery why we are such incredibly talented hard-working rich people in this country and when i say rich I'm, i know economy hard but you get what i mean mm-hmm. then they we did hey sorry but <laughs> why do we allow ourselves to live in filth quote and unquote quote unquote now a team of young men have been storming the problem and providing a simple efficient direct no long talk solution you've seen them on social media facebook uh, whatsapp your church group that your secret group your, your your boyfriend's group every group in this ghana you've seen them ladies and gentlemen uh, if we could stand i would stand but the way the microphone is set up i have to sit down but a standing ovation in my heart for these gentlemen please allow me to introduce with a warm Welcome and a round of applause for these gentlemen who are redefining patriotism and citizen initiative. Please, let's give it up for the bus stop boys. Let's go. <laughs> Charlie, the intro alone cry. I finished the interview. Uh, <laughs> because <clears throat> I think, so personally, the, the first time I saw your video is when I reached out. Right? I think I reached yeah. out to you. All I wanted to say was, Charlie, I'm, I'm happy you are, you are alive. Because we were taught these things when we were in primary school. After break, you do pick up. You walk around the school, pick up the, the litter, blah, 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 blah. There's grounds prefect and everything. But at the point, we forgot about all those things. That seven, eight years of training, don't litter, don't litter. No. Like we reach SS, no. Boop. Error. I want to start off, after you introduce yourselves, of course, with your names and your role in the team, I'd like your team lead to tell us where you guys got the, the idea to initiate this. From my left, gentlemen, please, welcome to Culture Daily's Big Conversation. Yeah, thank you. Your name and your role in the team. Okay, I'm Godson Nate. I'm an executive member. Okay, yeah. thank you, Godson. I'm Henning Bakoji Safo, founder and leader. Okay, okay, because you're a big man. Welcome. Yeah. I'm Jim Safo. Vice. Okay. Bow me. Bow me. Mate, 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 mate. I hope you can drive. Because if the driver know the, you for take us go. Ah. Uh, uh, please, I'm deputy superintendent of immigration, Basaka, okay. and I'm also uh, third in command. Yes. <laughs> okay. So four great. You're all Ghanaian. Yes. 
Amen. <laughs> it's good to see you doing this. We've seen the impact that is causing. We see the inspiration it's bringing on board. Now, Presido, I want you to tell us what birthed all this. Well, good morning to your beautiful listeners and viewers. Uh, it all started from a popular statement that always comes from my grandpapa, which happens to be Apostle Dr. Engineer Kojo Safo. That specifically says service to mankind is service to God. So growing up, this is the statement I usually hear him say, service to mankind, service to God. So literally, I was looking at how we can practicalize the statement, service to mankind, the service to God. And also personally, I believe that he who plants a tree, knowing for sure that he might not necessarily enjoy from the shade of the tree, has at least begun to understand life. So for me, I saw that uh, we have a huge problem as a country, but then it starts with the mindset of how we see things around us. Every Ghanaian who step out there and says, I'm not Zoom lion, they drink water and they throw it anyhow. But they quickly forget that malaria care less about who is Zoom lion and who is not. Mm -hmm. So I, for me, was looking at how we can conscientize ourselves to come and realize that with or without leadership, there's something within us that must always break us to do the right thing. For me, I believe that if I appear to be godly before you and go behind the gate and start doing other things, that is the biggest lie anybody can tell himself or herself. So the whole concept of bastard boys is an is a volunteerism idea, ready to create a serene environment, not just for ourselves, but for everybody to benefit at large. And keenly, I was very concerned about the sea because I love going to the beach. But anytime I get there, I see debris, trash bag flying everywhere around the beach. I was like, how, how is this possible in the first place? So I observed that for a long time and I realized that it's, it is because the communities are very dirty. So anytime it rains, it brings the debris back to the sea. So then I was like, how do we solve the problem from the root? That is how come we started Bastard Boys, to get the communities clean, so that regardless of how many times it rains, the sea will be at peace. So speaking about intervention and service to mankind, if you look around, let's be honest, let's have an honest conversation. If you look around, we have a lot of problems in our communities, all sorts. What, what pointed you in the direction of, should I say, sanitation? Yes, because uh, a lot of the problems, you, like you say, is right. But I believe it starts with sanitation. Because even for infrastructures, like national infrastructures, for example, we have a lot of them. We don't have many, but we have a lot of them. But the few ones that we have, we have allowed them to go bad. And I'll talk specifically of the National Sports Stadium, which is not too old, but then everything is almost going bad there. So I believe that if you put sanitation into an active practice, we can maintain a lot, it will bring peace to us because I believe investors love to be in a serene environment. So once we have the environment clean and serene, it automatically attracts investors and in the end solves a lot of our problems. How do you go about your, let me throw this to Vice, uh, Commander and Exec, I'll go come to you. <laughs> Vice, how do you plan these things? How do you, is it that you are just moving about Accra, you see a dirty place and you're like, hey, tomorrow we'll come do here. What, 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 is, what, what, is, what are the, the dynamics? We are just in awe because all we see is that the place was dirty, it is clean. What goes into actually identifying these places and how do you go about making it happen? All right, so um, first, first, we just the roam about the search places, you know. So sometimes if you go someplace where the place make dirty, yeah, my man will call me, then go call the team. Then after that, we could schedule a date where mostly we all be free. They will go one. But now, we the target one area. So, um, make a talk, say, we start Achimota or Mao 7 yesterday. So, we did in front of St. John's yesterday. So, we'll be targeting around Achimota or let me say Mao 7, that's, that's um, stretch. So after that, they, they will move to another area. They will move to another area so that we can see the impact or we can see the work we've done there. Yeah. Do you have any engagement with the municipal authorities, the assemblies, etc.? Because I know, I mean, it's a public space. You have access to apply the public space. But when you go into things like moving stuff around and doing grounds work as a per se upkeep, I know in some regard there needs to be some involvement of these bodies. Do you have any uh, relationship with them? Have you had any, any exposure to them in any way? Yes, we, we went to see one minister and he actually contacted us like 
He gave us a number. Um, um, no, I think uh, let me come in here. I know what you were saying. No, we don't. We, when we, <coughs> if we are, <coughs> sorry, if we are, we identify a place and decide to go and clean. We don't go and see any assembly. You just get it done. Yes, then. because we believe that so. we, as part of our code, we are making unclean places clean, and then we are not. Our message is not to the assembly. Our message is to the Ghanaian youth. That you with our time, if you do something, so just rise. If you see problem where you can solve within your means, just solve it. And you know, even seeing assembly man in Ghana is a tough thing, and we do not want to put ourselves into the stress because we are not doing it because yes, problems. because we want money. But then the moment you start approaching them, their first impression is these guys want to some cash. No, we don't want cash. We are ready to just do it regardless of whether we get something or not. That's one reason why we don't really stress going to see the assembly or whatnot. But I believe that once it's about making sure the place is dirty and cleaning, nobody nobody will come and say, get off the street or you know anything like that. Even so. even regardless of that we 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 had some, we were working at um, Akramo, mm -hmm. and the assembly supposed to bring us some um, was it? Um, no, 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 that story specifically. But during whilst we were working, when we started working on there, we had a call from oh, then. Yeah. Honorable Henry Corte, Thank you very much. who said he is very impressed about what we are doing. So he gave us a contact of one Madame Vivian. And the Madame specifically said, anytime we are going to a location, we should just give her a prior information so that he will, she will link us to the assembly. So specifically for what my brother is saying, was at Chimota, uh, I'm sorry, Akramo. Akramo. Yeah. And then before we even kickstart the job, the assembly phoned us and I went there, sat with them. They asked us what we need. And I told them we just need a boy, you know, the compactor or ball like car, like we say, and maybe cones to restrict traffic. And they said they are going to give us everything that we have requested for. The day came, we started working from 7 a.m. all the way to 2.30. Oh. 2.30 before I started phoning them that we are about to complete. So <laughs> the things man can start coming so we can because we don't believe in cleaning and leaving the trash there. And then basically we waited the whole time only for them to give us excuses like, uh, Zoom Lion is not getting full or they are filling the town, blah, blah, blah. So the long, to cut a long story short, they said we should leave it there and they, they will come and take care of it. And then it, it wasn't fruitful. So it was like, if we are going to rely on them, we are not going to achieve what we want to do. So largely, we don't really go around, ask them for anything. We are just doing it. We believe. Well, I'm, I'm trying hard myself. not to make that conversation spear towards the negligence and the lackadaisical attitude of the, the bodies that are supposed to do this job in the first place, mm -hmm. who are not doing it. And from your testimony now, who are also failing to even support you, who are doing it at no cost. Now, I want to touch on the volunteers uh, angle of, of this and the patriotic angle that I, I feel is the fire pushing this. You are not getting paid for this. And I want you to say this emphatically so that people because ghana is a treacherous place and somebody will tell you i'm not getting paid and then six months later we'll hear that too as soon as he was the one who was paying them <laughs> is this a volunteer organization yes this is purely 100 purely more than three billion percent <laughs> volunteerism. No point. all the cleaning you've done all the videos that have gone viral all the sites that you have transformed you were not paid by any individual, any no. corporation, no. any brand to do it. No, no, no. no this no. is Ghanaians <laughs> who have seen a problem and have taken their shovel and their hoe and their cutlass and their rakes and they are solving it. Yes, exactly so. Is it just the four of you? No, okay, we started seven. Four of us here plus extra three who are not here at the moment. But uh, as we keep going and doing what we're doing, I believe that the spirit will ignite whoever believes in Ghana. So we've got a lot of people coming on board. And now we're about 70 plus still adding up because it's volunteerism. We don't 71, I'm on board. Okay. <laughs> it's volunteerism. So everybody that believes it is possible, it's just a change of mindset, mindset and action. We can change the narrative and probably Uganda will be... Sorry, uh, Rwanda, Rwanda will be jealous of us. <laughs> How do you manage the entire team? Because starting with seven and going to 71, 
um, that's a lot, right? And mm. being, you know, a voluntary work, how is the management of the whole team working? Do you all um, assemble in one spot and say that, you know, we are going to do this one spot, let's say, Abiling Bay, in front of theme music, you know, just for an example? Or do you say, okay, we are going to pick Abiling Bay and then spread out across Abiling Bay for today? Every, <coughs> every member of the team <coughs> has a day job, like my brother here is an immigration officer who might not have all the time. Uh, a lot of them, they have some policemen in there, uh, some nurses and stuff. So what we do is when we find a location we are going to work on, we put the video in the group and whoever is available to, to come help us do the job comes around. So specifically, we don't spread out like you are saying, but right? we identify a problem. And then because, like I'm saying, everybody has a day job, with the exception of stand days and holidays, normally on the weekdays we get about 15 or 20 people at most in a, on a location. I, I, I like the fact that it's not it's not it's not position to look like you don't have jobs, no. right? Yeah. And that yeah. you know these are people like the brother here is an immigration officer. But I want to find out why did you decide to do this? I mean, you have a day job as an immigration yes, officer, yeah. which obviously is as demanding it's as serious. you yeah. know the the job role or job description would be. But yeah. why did you decide to be a part of? So um, actually, we are we've been friends for long. Okay. Yeah, for more than ten years, and oh, so I would say thirteen. Thirteen. So I would say we are brothers. <laughs> right. So um, my brother here came to me one fine Sunday at home, and he told me this is what he wants us to do, which uh, normally we discuss issues which we try to do, but it's like we are always uh, we have the idea of maybe we can't, we can't. But this time around, when he told me, I felt like okay, yeah. This is a good cause, and where he is coming from, with the quotes Apostle Safo said, I feel like it's, it's something that's really good. Which, uh, if I try to join, I put we put ourselves together, we can make something happen. And you know, that and this malaria and stuff is something which is killing us every day. So mm -hmm. it looks like uh, when he came in with the idea, we we're already on the same pattern. We mm -hmm. decided to move on. I know so, you mentioned you mentioned other professionals. I mean, yeah. you have an immigration officer, police, what, you have police, uh -huh. uh, nurses, midwives, wow. teachers, doctor. doctors, doctors. Yeah, doctors. Wow. Yeah, so far, the only person who I would say, or the least in the group, is a student. Everybody mm. has a day job. Wow, that's <laughs> that's, that's, nice. that's actually yeah. impressive. You yeah. know, and not not to make it look like you know, people who do that day. type mm. of work, you <laughs> know, don't have a day job yeah. or you know, um, but. It's all nice and, you know, it's beautiful, people see in the story now, but I just want to ask you, how many times did you attempt to do this? And how many times did you fail at trying to do it? Well, I say we attempted it once and we kept doing it. One time? One time. Wow. Because first, personally for me, I had already psyched myself to the fact that I am sending a message and that message is about the mindset. The only difference between whoever is in Ghana and whoever is in America is how we think. Mm. If you are poor, it's in your mind. Change it, and you, you, you see the narrative. Mm. I see life as, if you go and you put in, let's say, for example, let's say, uh, science into a computer, it will also suggest a, a lot of links relating to science. Mm -hmm. So I see the mind as the way you are thinking. You are thinking poor, and the mind is auto suggesting poverty to you. Right. If you start thinking rich, the mind will auto suggest richness, and of course, your opportunities to start ideas will start dropping into your mind, mm -hmm. and they implement it. So, if all Ghanaians begin to think like this is better than US, the mindset alone will make sure it will start making you feel like, why do I have to throw my pure water rubber there right. or here? So, automatically, when the mind is seen, it transforms the body. So basically, body. okay. Yeah. So basically, it's not just about going to clean these places, yeah. right? No, no. You're also using the opportunity to create awareness. Yeah. I mean, you speak so well. You're very eloquent, and I feel like your energy is infectious. The people who have joined you now, have you noticed that their mindset is changing? Are you seeing the impact beyond the the cleaning and the sanitation that you guys are on? Are you seeing the the mindset change? Over time, whether on social media, have you received some form of testimonials that hey guys, whatever you guys are doing, I'm so empowered, I'm so inspired, my mindset has changed because you are looking at changing the mindset, which is a very difficult thing to do in this part of our world, right? But I want you to focus on or help us, you know, put a spotlight on some of the small wins that you've you've made beyond cleaning the gutters and whatnot. What are some of the testimonials that you've received in terms of mindset? Okay, I remember the last time somebody 
sent a video where according to him he's, he was in passing he saw a couple of guy, guy, guys gathered around a place where plastics were and some of them were actually holding it so according to the video i saw he spent time with them and told them that no you don't have to put the, the whole plastic uh -huh. into the bin uh -huh. you can just compress it fold it like this and uh -huh. even if you don't have a bag you push it in your pocket mm. that is your own way of also being patriotic inspired by what you guys yes, are doing yes. he uh -huh. sent me the video specifically to said what we guys are what we are teaching in trot trots and the market stations he's he's inspired and he's also wow. doing so so speak, speak to me on that wow trot trots and market <coughs> centers what, what 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 are you doing there Education. Education. We jump into your trotter, we have plastic bottles or pure water sachets and then we are telling you that you don't have to necessarily leave it in the trotter. Because I have seen mates on countless times, they, they, are, they stop at the bus stop and they push everything you have left for them onto the street. And whilst on the street, the air will blow them into the gutters. And whilst on the gutters, you will get choked and then you complain of flooding. So you have to change, I have to change. And then we can all look, we can all dream of the peace we are dreaming of or the kind of serene environment we are dreaming of can come to pass. It will never be magic. It has to be action. I what's like what's that. the reception so okay. far? You see, I'm going somewhere, I'm in a Trotsky, and then bus stop boys pull up, and they enter the Trotsky. When you start talking, what do, what is the average Ghanaian's reaction? Well, I remember the first time I jumped with one truck truck with me. So, but, what are you doing now? I'm going to tell you. 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 But in the end, because I'm a customer, one guy asked a question. If you don't test you, what do you But I know that I believe that somebody has premeditated. You can soon see it. It will be premeditated on a certain thought for about 10, 20 years. It will never take a day to change that person. So this is purely a, an act of commitment and more of action. So I think the, the consistency that, at which you see something in your face is what changes your mind. So we'll be in your faces all the time, doing the cleaning and telling you to change. Even if it takes us 10 years, even if you are dead by then, and then I you know my God spirit will come back and see Anna clean, and that's what we are praying for. Definitely. You know, I, I like that, you know, they are targeting mindset because, you know, the mind is a really is a really strong thing, right? And the education bit is also, you know, really good. Well, in Roses, right? I wouldn't say in Roses. What they said to us was, your pocket is your bin, right? So everybody puts their rubbish or their trash in your pocket if possible if not you get a bigger bin right but should this prove futile um you know in line of education how long are you willing you know to be on road you know be on the streets doing the job yourself if the education bit fails because like you said yourself it is difficult to change people's minds well for me my as me for me as a person my my biggest joy is the ability to solve your problems so the fact that you are okay, for example, you are struggling to fix your phone. If I'm able to fix your phone for you, that is joy for me. So as long as I have life and energy, uh, I will still, doing, we will still do what we are doing. Okay. All right. That's well, um, I, 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 I'm a bit curious, right? The companies, I know a few, not just, we keep mentioning uh, Zoomla, Zoomla, Zoomla. There's Jekura, there's a few others. Has any of them approached you to support? Maybe we'll give you, for every area you go, we'll give you a bin or this, or uh, call our operations manager anytime you need a truck. Has anybody, because I'm, I'm trying to set a, a, a tone and get to something. We, we, we have time. I, I want to know, has any of them, forget about the assemblies and the state institutions and the people who are general overseers of the community, right? Assemblyman is dealing with plenty. MC, MC, MC is dealing with a lot of things. Sanitation being one of them. But we have an industry, we have a ministry, we have companies whose business is sanitation. Ha, Vice, has any of them approached or reached out to try and amplify this in any way? Okay, so um, yes, I'll say we actually met um, Zoom Lion last week and we had a discussion. So, um, but it was it was actually based on state match, and they also promised they will come on board and help us, or or let me say donate. So we are still keeping our fingers <laughs> crossed. Donate what specifically anything, or it was just general? Oh, de general, please. Mm. General. You know, before then, we had already written to them in yeah, September yeah, last yeah, year, yeah, yeah. 
and it's like the receptionist later said the, address, the authority to whom we addressed the letter was wrong. So I think after a while, <coughs> they saw Can what we are doing this? and then, yes, then they called us on. through uh, yes. someone, a journalist, that we also got so the opportunity to meet, meet the Zoom team. Lion again. Yeah. Oh. Yes, when we went in person, they, they were saying the address was wrong, so we had to go and come back, which... Okay, uh, wait, wait, what about the... the, 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 the no, we, if we have to go there, we have to go there. I think, no, I, see, I'm, I'm trying to... I was even going to go at the creators of this waste. When I say the creators of this waste, there are many businesses in Ghana that thrive on the use of plastics, yes. right? Yes. And as a responsible corporate body, what happens to your manufactured product after use? It's also part your concern, of your yeah. concern because even if you buy an aerosol can, your deodorant, or you buy any kind of um, um, carbon carbonated uh, product, they put, they tell you do not put in fire, do not expose, do not dispose of in this, in that, 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 that. To an extent, that's a responsible way mm -hmm. to because I finished using the product. Which one concern you? What do you see? Mm -hmm. But they are they are being responsible yeah. enough to tell you what to do and not to do. So companies that are making multi multiples of millions of dollars in Ghana off of plastic based uh, products and whatever has anybody seen that okay we are producing 10 bags a, a week nine of them end up in the gutter we've got our money but these guys are doing something that we as institutions have failed can we amplify them can we help them can this be our CSR blah nobody has reached out till now I've seen some brands do something refreshments but I mean you can speak to that but nobody has spoken to you specifically and how do I say sensibly mm. enough to engage you yet? Not yet. Specifically to your statement of engagement as in how to deal with the end product no. How long have you been doing this? This is the tenth month. <sighs> yeah. Okay. That's so no 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 bro relax. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been you've been you've been doing this as a citizens initiative, volunteerism, for ten months. Yes. By May you would have been doing this for a year. Yeah. And not the companies that are responsible for waste management and disposal, not the companies that are responsible for the production of these sachets, plastics, papers, these non-biodegradable products, none of them has reached out to directly engage you or support you. Mm -hmm. So we are getting support from Verna. They are giving us water on every location. When did you get that support? Oh, it started from last year. When, I don't remember, remember. first okay i think november last year november so you have about four months they of support consistent giving us from verna from verna shout out to verna everybody else what are you doing <laughs> i mean I, I know it's an interview but give me five seconds you see we 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 kill the beautiful things in ghana not only by action but also by our inaction a way to impact society and make your brands and your products admirable and make them loved is by showing that you care about your consumer. What is the point of doing 100 billboards across the country, selling your plastic products, knowing well that when you move those volumes, they are going to translate into potential trash. When you could spend those resources to elevate the communities that are patronizing your goods, it's not rocket science. You don't need to go and invent anything. You don't need a consultant from anywhere. This is so basic. And to see young men who have day jobs, who are as tired as the marketing managers, who are as tired as the operation market managers, you are as tired as anybody working in those other companies, but you put your tiredness aside and decide to do this for your communities. Big shame. Big shame to all the companies. 2023, Big shame. 2023 budgetary statement and economic policy. The money that was allocated for the Ministry of Sanitation, Water and Resources. 822,007. 822,007 what? Wait. <laughs> Hold on. 822 million, mm -hmm. 7, uh -huh. 822 million 7,000. 822 million 7,000. Um... This includes contributions from the government, development partners, and internally generated funds. The government's contribution to this alone is hundred thousand, sorry, hundred million two hundred twenty-two thousand two hundred eight. This is twenty to three. I think we have we have a screenshot or an image of that. Well, if this just is last year. This is just 
this is just, just last year. 2023 last yeah, year yeah, exactly. and you guys have been working since so yeah this is according to the i mean only you can take it away yeah so just for this year by the this, way this is okay so that's 2023 for this year parliament approved over 255 million ghana cities budget allocation to the sanitation and water resources so i mean we'll deal with the water later but for sanitation alone um our outgoing president in his um previous manifestos if not um state of the nation address declared that one of the things he wanted to do was to make accra the cleanest city in the world in africa um that he has woefully failed um because there are facts and evidences to show and prove the reason why i'm bringing this up is because a human money you're not doing the job in fact we were supposed to have seen dustbins littered across the major streets or the major cities in this country especially in the um what do you call it um the catch areas that are known to be industrious and have a lot of activities going on where there are going to be possible waste disposed there we are not seeing those dustbins um we won't even go into the conversation of some of the workers of um zoom lion who are still struggling to make ends meet because they're not getting paid their worth i know you are trying to work on the mentality of the people who are either contributors or creators of waste but i also want to push the mentality to our leaders you know that um the president also said that we shouldn't be spectators but we should be what we should be citizens and we have some fine citizens i am here. surprised Coming that one of them <clears throat> i am surprised that and I'm, i i raised this president because I'm surprised that after 10 months, there hasn't been a conscious, active, committed effort from government or any of the agencies to ensure that your work is done and made easily. I think prior to the 6th March, I think you guys were trying to raise funds to clear a particular... Yes. Asalam down. Asalam down, right? Yeah. Opposite Paloma. How much did you Opo need? Opo I think it was 7,000 cities or so. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Opo the Opo excavator for a day. Let's go to West for a day, 7,000. How did you get them done? I saw the, the, the one under the bridge. Did Paloma. Did, did yeah, they the Paloma area. We, they, after the announcement that we are going to do that on 6 March, and the God sent an angel, the angel came to claim. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Can you tell us Wait, so you were not able to do it? No. no. Actually, they, was, they started doing from, I think, on the 3rd or on the 4th. When they announced it, yes. I saw the video, when I they announced that they would go oh, to clear that. Yes, so you people announced people. that you want to do this yes. on 6th March. And then before they realized, and then someone else was going to do it. Yes. Yes. So they announced, yeah. announced they were going to see us. You see us. Now they were going to see us. It's like, Kono Go Kaya, you will not do it. Someone else will not do it. It's like, you know, they announcement to do When they announced it, they went to seek the services or the rental services of an excavator. They recorded a video and obviously put it out there, you know, just to get support. That, okay, mm -hmm. this is how much it costs to rent an excavator for the day. I think the guy was even being generous that you guys can yeah. take it with the full and everything, they'll handle and everything, right? And so they were requesting for funds. I think you guys raised about 1,005. Uh, 1,250. 1,250. On 4th or 5th March, they went there and an excavator had already appeared. There. I saw the excavator video and it's I thought it was the excavator. There. Oh, somebody has gone to put the excavator so there I, doing it. When I saw the thing, I was like, ah, scabba. Yeah. No. <laughs> and see, that is, that is oh. why I, I was raising that the point. That means it's possible. Wait, it can seven. be done, up, but it's not today being done. Today is Thursday, yeah. 7th. Yeah. So what you are talking about is Monday matter. Yes, 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 yes yesterday. Yes. Uh, this, week. this week, this week, this week, yeah. Thursday, 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 so yeah. you are talking about fourth and fifth. You are talking about Monday yeah. and Sunday matter. So the reason why I am bringing the figures from budget and government, this guy is in there only seven thousand cities. I mean, to clear mm -hmm. the, the 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 photos, what you call uh, it the videos. <laughs> Olele, let me, my viewers, I beg you. No, but I mean, you know, they, they, I just, I just want to establish. At least in some impact, Olele, eh, Olele, Olele, because let me announce what's going on. They, then we can continue. If they keep, you know, making these things, maybe the next thing should be the Alaju Gota, then the Odo. You know, now yeah. people will come to the realization that I'm supposed to do my work, and mm. then I haven't done it, and people are doing. Which is it. great. You know, which that's what I'm saying. Which is so great. the impact is really. Which is great, but if even if. Even if you are now thinking about, which is already a failed attempt, by the way, yeah. these are young people that also are a group of day workers that need support. They shouldn't be going to one media house or the other to have conversations like this. And we are saddened by the fact that there is this amount of money put there. There is this amount of money allocated for something like this. 
we can't just we can't even finish Accra. I'm wondering what's going on in Kumasi. Yeah. Mm. I'm wondering what's going on in Tamale. I'm wondering what's going on in Ho. Because this is just Accra. You guys haven't moved out of the Accra yet. Mm. This is just Accra. And for 10 months, they've not had any form of support. A private drinking water company, a water drinking company, is the only one who have stood with them and stood by them for and 10 that months. And that one cry, that one cry, pardon me, that one cry, but what despite, I, despite the support cry, it's a lazy support. No, but because, you see, but you see, uh, I beg you. But, 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 no, 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 make a fire. Also, Only, no, um, this is, also, you can, you can discredit it from the show. You can, discon you can, dis uh, you can disconnect my statement from the show. This is not the sentiments of Culture Daily, big conversation of three music as an organization. Me, in my expertise as a marketer, I've been doing marketing since 2009 and dashing people water as a producer of plastics is nothing what an ego i've done sponsorships where i've gone for water brands and they've given us hundreds of packs so them giving you how many packs do you get <laughs> how many packs do you get do they give you 100 packs of water that's too much crap. how many 10 15 drink water it's not it we expect more you see we cannot simultaneously be be trying to fight for radical change right and also be so easily pleased and happy about mediocre uh, 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 increments in the change. We are here to remove the bandage. There is a cancer. There is a disease that is killing Ghana, which is inaction. And this habit of us turning a blind eye. So you will go to an association, they will ignore you. You will write a letter and secretary will tell you that after months that we address and then yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You go to a, 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 an assembly who will say that we will come and pick your, your waste. You say me they go on and say fuel. The excuses are too much and the games are too much. If it was a music concert to sell this same water, they would write an, a, 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 a sponsorship invoice for 200,000, 300,000 to sponsor an event yeah, for people to come and dance for, right? for, for two hours. Yeah. People come and dance and sing for two hours and they'll blow a quarter of a million CDs on it. So something that will impact the community, impact lives and elevate their brand for them. Dashing water is nothing. Oh, yeah, hey, I can buy you water every time you go out. I'm saying it on air now. If you need water to drink as an individual for the rest of bus stop li boy's life, me, Cyril, I can buy you water. Whether you're 100 people, you're 1,000 people, I can say I want water. I'll give you water. You don't need the whole company to come and dash you five packs. Oh, yeah, hey. Well, specifically for Verna, I spoke to them. Me, I told them I'm not interested in cleaning, cleaning. We are looking at how to solve the problem entirely. So, I and they have that, committed to giving us ten dust weeks, which I believe is a start as well. Yeah, yeah, I get you. And the men, what I'm saying is that, like Olele is say, saying, let's look at the ministry as a whole, eh? And what was approved in Parliament, hundreds of millions. Yeah. So it means that if we wanted to make radical change today, possible. it is possible. Yeah. So yeah. imagine the ministry now giving you, uh, yeah, every month maybe five cities. Then they don't want to they're help not doing you. That. Anything, yeah. you do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a company a time, yeah. that is one of the major uh, uh, contributors, to uh, con waste. contributors to plastic waste, saying they'll give you beans to store the plastic waste, saying they'll give you water to quench your thirst, is is uh, is the equivalent of Parliament giving you ten CDs Momo to share? Yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's not a disrespect to Verna. It's not me uh, uh, failing to acknowledge that Kitio being swat. But we have passed Kito, uh, Kito, my tree is not good with uh, phrases and this thing. Kito, we, we passed that junction long time. Run and go yeah. That's where we are. You go do them, do them. Because that's what you are doing. You saw the problem. You could have done Kito and Swa and cleaned your house and gone to bed. Immigration, you clean the front of your house and you sleep. Yes. Where do you stay? Kaswa. You stay at Kaswa. What business do you have cleaning domain? If you were doing Kitwebi and Swa with your mind, what this, I mean, I get yeah. this is true. do you get my point? Yeah. I, I'm saying this because you inspire me. I told boss, when I reached out, I, I, I know yes. you're too, too. <laughs> I do know you anyway. I struggled yeah. and got your number just to tell you that you, you don't know how you'd inspire me. Because there's so many problems in Ghana that if 10% of us took your mentality, change would be visible. Yeah. Not dashing me bola and giving me water to quench my thirst. Sabi, 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 namun tunes you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> problem saying hand and I won't you. Right. But did you ever have a meeting and complain about contribution for water? Mm. So then no problem has been solved. It's just another brand tactic. Let's see how we can also ride this cloud. And again, these are not state statements from the show or the network. This is my personal 
the uh, interpretation of the situation because I've seen it a million times where brands act certain way as if they are helping, but you know there's more to be done. And today I'm calling out all the brands who are dealing with plastic-related products. If you are going to touch the bus stop, boys, make sure it is impactful. Let me hear that somebody has given tracks so that when you are done, the tracks can go to the right uh, dump sites and get rid of the, the waste. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Not that you'll be now working and calling assembly for cone. Ah, cones no good. Mm -hmm. or, or even excavators, right? Um, Cyril, thanks for, for that. Um, but also, guys, what I want us to touch on again is hygiene, right? Um, for you, your personal hygiene, you go into these gutters, you know, you one-on-one <laughs> -on -one with the debt, if I can just yeah. put it that yeah. way, right? How are you also ensuring that your health, um, you know, is yeah. at a certain optimum because that's also really important. Inhalation of these things is not easy. Even if you are walking past, you know, a gutter or a dump site, you can't, you have to hold your breath, right? Not to talk of, you know, getting in there, digging all of these things out. So how are you making sure of that? Is there also a health facility that you have reached out to? Or is there, you know, a health facility that, um, you know, wants to take care of, the health of all of the 70 now 71 <laughs> um, members of the bastard boys not yet no <clears throat> nobody like no private or uh, public hospital has ever reached out and say we are going to take care of your health no not yet god be so good to you are not for so everybody's it. waiting until you are trending but, on as you are bbc but are you, you have you also reached out oh. if they haven't reached out have you reached out okay to so let me facilities? let me because that's also important let me chip in on this uh, the last one we did at Ablekuma, one doctor, uh, one lady doctor came. Which, after a conversation with her, she told she told us that she will organize um, a health screening for all of us. Mm -hmm. So, but as at now, we don't know when it's going to happen. Because it has to be regular, you mm -hmm. know, as regular as mm -hmm. you know, you go and do the cleanups. Do you understand? Because you never know when what will enter your system. Yeah, you know, yeah. so I think that we should also if, look if, at that as well. The if health if facility. If you the worker. <laughs> no, tell me. Because they need to, like, the, the, accept it. I don't want to. Uh, all I don't, of yes, these then, things. Then, then sometimes we, they are get um, um, some tell us, tell anti us, antibiotics for her. So after taking some hot water, I take them, then I rest, uh, and then I relax for that. Hey, Charlie. So, 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 so you, 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 you. Even with your, your health. You know, you were definitely being exposed to yeah. all sorts of things. Sure, sure, yesterday's sure. yesterday's work day, I didn't have me on. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. That's that's too so bad. But like we we always wear nose masks. Yeah, gloves it's not enough. And 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 all that. But um, um. Okay, you know you know what I think because of time. Let's let's get into the kind of support you guys need, mm. right? I mean, short term, long term. So let's start with short short term. What are some of the things, you know, beyond money and, you know, the donations that you may have received and all that? What are some of the key resources or key things you guys need to make sure that you keep the fire alive? Yeah, to, for sh both short and long term, uh, there are machines, though. I don't know. I know our leaders, they travel. They see all these <laughs> machines. Facts. I was watching on YouTube where a car, just in passing, it pulls every trash, all mm. the flying plastics. Mm. It pulls mm. all of them and mm. takes them away. There are machines that just by in passing, they are solving problems. They are vehicles, they are equipment to mm. get a job done. I mm. think whoever believes that the change is possible and to sustain this, they can, I don't have to quick mention them because then they know. They know. And for the long term, too, we are looking at, we, for us personally, we are looking at putting one of us, one of the seven is animator. Kojoba is not here, he does animation. So we are looking at how we can put animation and cartoons into Okay. into a movie for the kids to reprogram how they see the environment ah. right so sweet, sweet. if anybody believes and want to help us to i think you can because if, if we put a lot of weight into education it has you know a lot of initiatives has come for the environment but the sustainability field because they are just work 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 yeah. nobody is thinking about how to change their mindset so when you put in education uh, like your platform like this i will please urge all of you that before you start whatever show you can just use a minute to tell whoever is watching that you don't litter Right. You cannot base on one person's negligence to cause harm to all of us. Right. Yeah. So I believe that about time you go hard on the people who feel like yeah. we'll be hard and home so I can do what I want, you know. Yeah. So for um, long term education is key. I I, I I saw a video of you um 
well i'm sure you, you obviously saw the social media reactions that came after that when um the acting minister for um water sanitation and resources um, <laughs> you guys got invited yeah. to have a meeting with her and then she took you to a, a vetting uh, yes she a day before the vetting was the day we met her okay and then she said she's happy she's grateful for what we are doing personally want to recognize us and then work with us she said so she said as part of showing her readiness to work with us she's inviting us to come and witness her vetting process why <laughs> well i don't really know but then you see you see so this is the problem this is a problem personally Vetters. i have you know you invite young men which is great recognize them you know obviously for and obviously took so long because if social social media didn't make noise about it and like i'm a junior yeah because <laughs> <they're probably, laughs> you see I, someone will say with 10 months 10 months standing under the sun the stealing gutters it's not easy look 10 you, months look you look you wanna wanna color the change <laughs> yeah. so how many hours do you i mean of course it's not like you can say two hours you you finish when the job is done okay. but what when was the shortest time and when was the most 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 challenging area oh. uh, the <laughs> shortest the shortest would be Kaswa. one bus that was just sweeping so Kaswa. after sweeping we gathered the trash it was just about two trash bags that we generated and the, the biggest or the longest it took the whole day we go home around six me i go home around 8 pm after dropping everybody in the bobo yard donated to us by a1 diesel that's with this white man on the spinters road who yeah. said yo i believe what you guys are doing and bought a 23,000 cds at bobo yard to us let's go let's go shout out to initiative shout out to the citizens yeah. who are also supporting yeah. but like you know began uh, a ghanian he's a white man he's called mr Alex. Ghana, then then. Ah, okay yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Shashi, the bus stop, behind the bus stops lies the gutter. Which, of yeah. course, our people are throwing. When they sit at the bus stop and drink, they just push it behind to the gutter. And that place, as at now, there's always water is in the gutter. Whether dry season or whatever, <laughs> there's water. So, we wanted to go to the roots and see what exactly is making the water always available. And after renting a uh, pump, uh, pump, water, water pump to drain the water out, realized that the gutter, I don't know whether the engineers, they were lacking tactics. But it appears to be going this way, Instead and in the end, it appears out. to be flowing this way. And just before, it's, it's more coming like this, and before it, the continuation has been blocked by the same constructor, whoever did it, it's with a huge concrete. So unless the water goes beyond the level of the blocked, before it the comes rest flows. will remain. So it comes and hits this one and see. But if it goes beyond this one, then it will flow to the gutter continuation. That is one of the difficult jobs. We are still calling on help. There's to make sure the we, right thing is done. We even did about that. The, yeah, 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 yeah. So the water is supposed to go the left side. And it's but it's, it's rather flowing to the right. Yeah, which because the slope is wrong. Yes. Yeah. The they right just mix concrete and pour. It's, it's just opposite GSE. There, there's a big gap. I've seen it. There, it's so just so right yeah. behind. It's supposed where to go from the footbridge to... To University of Ghana. I am curious about the minister's conversation with you because now she is going to occupy that office. What were some of the conversations that were had? I mean, you support, we recognize, is great. We hear that all the time. In fact, even if they don't meet you guys, they say it on radio, on TV. But what were the conversations? Are they looking to um, partner with you guys to carry out some of their objectives? Or is just, oh, we'll see how we can work. Because the work, you're already doing it, right? And you have 70, 71 members as, as, as it is now, right? So what were some of the conversations that would inform citizens that, okay, government has taken notice of what you guys are doing and this is what they want to do i want it to come from you because for them they have a pr machine right so what were some of the conversations you guys had and what are the, some of the things that we should look out for so that if they're not doing it we can hold them accountable okay she she asked what we need in terms of equipment okay and i told her about the machines, machines and that stuff are like moving that. Okay. and getting the job down uh -huh. and she even asked where can we find those so i told her i told her where, I she was know. asking where you can find the machines no like it's, 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 where i saw them i saw them on youtube so she asked where and i showed i told her we saw them on youtube and show her we showed her some videos okay uh, but then she also asked what's more then we told her specifically about education and we even told her about this animation thing yeah which we believe that there should be constant information, information in the faces yeah. of the people mm. that will make them change i remember vividly when the kung kung bagia thing started <laughs> mm -hmm. after five years or three years i saw ghanaians behaving like kung kung bagia that's fair that's true that's which fair. means that's that so incaftan that's yes. right <laughs> <laughs> 
Last question. Um, oh, let, 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 uh, I would like him to land. Okay. Not okay. Please, yeah. Which means that if you put more weight into consistent education in the faces of Ghanaian, yeah. it will transform how we see the environment. Yeah. 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 The trash, when you are done, where, where does it go? I saw Polytank also brought some bins. Yeah. Shout out to them. The trash goes what, what, to... Was it, was, it, was, it, was it Polytank or Polybrand? It's Polytank. Polytank, okay. Well, so where, where, where does the waste go usually when you, you're done digging it out? We send it to Zoom Park. There's one at Chatsumota, but we always go to that of Malam Junction. At your own cost? At your yeah, you go. You, they weigh the vehicle. <coughs> they weigh the vehicle and they pay per the weight of the trash you are bringing hey. in. So you pay to get rid of the trash after, yes. after, after your day job in this economy. You still selflessly go and dig out gutters, clean main roads, bus stops, etc. And then you haul the wow. trash and you contribute your money and pay to dump it. Sorry. Um, yo. If you've not been listening since the beginning, the we, country is sorry, eh? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we, we are we'll with the better. bus stop. <laughs> we are I, with the I, bus. So I I guess, okay. let me let me chip in with this. Yeah. On uh the one why we did at Odoko, there was this guy, I don't know where he's from, but he was in a zoom line at uh, I don't know what what I don't know what if what we're doing he didn't like or I just didn't know. So their trash car came. We wanted to give them our uh, trash. The guy was like, no. Mamunji, huh? Mamunji, Debbie, Debbie. Like, he was really angry. The Zoom right? Lion guy said, yes. my Mamunji. No, so at the end, these people shouldn't take yes. it. Yes, so at the end, they didn't take it. Why? Is ah. the trash, they take it's different from the trash you take? Or well, maybe you, know. you guys, just it's premium it's trash. About the, it's about the availability of space in the car. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. go and pick a paying customer's trash mm -hmm. that do this and the truck So early morning, he was just passing by. He was a bit angry with his let, aggressive face. Let me tell you guys something very interesting. In 2021, um, the country launched a national action roadmap, right, which actually demonstrated how the country can manage plastics across the product life cycle, which is also called the Ghana National Plastics Management Policy, all right, and it was supposed to um, address the country's growing plastic pollution crisis. When this thing was done, Ghana became the first African country to join the Global Plastic Action Partnership to transition to a circular plastics economy. So there are systems. I'm just trying to say that there are systems that are in place that are supposed to make this work very easy because you don't need to send the trash to a particular dumping site. There is a management policy that is supposed to turn the plastics into something meaningful back to the environment or back to the community or back to the citizens, but it's not being activated. So all of these things is just audio money or shall I say audio uh, yeah, a event is a what you call it policy. yes wait but i think with this as well it depends on where these plastics are found right with finding them you know in places that maybe on the ground or something yeah but you can use it you, 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 you can reuse separate it. it right you separate the plastics from but when you find the it in the gutters and we stuff we did once it didn't work out for us so now we just <laughs> you see, it, it takes well, too much time no 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 no, no, no. but okay. in their defense their problem is it's not supposed to be sort, yeah. they cannot sort yeah. yeah. even the big companies have sorted Somebody, yeah where they do you know. so what i'm trying to say is at least they have taken the most difficult parts of yeah, the job of the which way. is getting rid of the waste exactly. and, and getting it together. Government can just tap in. You just just tap in. Um, on that note, just tap in. If you've been listening, is, uh, my name is Serial. This is the big conversation on Three Music TV's Culture Daily. We've been seated here with the bus stop boys for the last hour, getting into the reality of volunteerism in Ghana, taking the initiative to be the change that you want to see in our community. For strapping very wise and very, very honest, patriotic young men here before me, and they've definitely opened our eyes to various insights into the world of how we indeed need to manage our trash and our sanitation as a country. Shout out to all the 70 members who have pulled together to keep this going. The next time we have an interview, maybe God, make sure we are 70,000 so that we have a clean country and the brands who are producing plastic will do more than give us more of their plastic products and will actually invest mm -hmm. in the things that will help us solve the problem in the long term. Uh, as we sign out, Lenny Lomote is here, Lily Salvador is here as well, but as we sign out, Join me if you know it. Yenara assassini. Aya bod in de ma yen. Mojana na na num shegum yaru to ho ma yen. Andrew me ne woso so. Say ye be ye biatwaso. Ne biatwaso kuntum krani ni ya pese min kuminya. And in ye mrem kumaya sasi wo do hatu se. Oh my no se be you. 
Omanu senye yu Eye se na ose Omanfu brane se Omanu seli yu Omanu seli yu Eye se na ose Oh, they, say, they say we should fix ourselves. We are fixing ourselves. So the government lead, the leaders also need to do the right thing. Mm. Last words from my guest before I sign out, please. Alright, so um, <laughs> um, yes, we nice answer. So um, after we have said something, then he will say something. Like right. Mm. So um, I was saying, I was having a conversation with my brother, no, with him, and I said. The government that power then get way then go fit say today them close um tobu today no then go fit get that power talk say today plastics make me burn down because plastics way it they bring problems to our society so at least make them actually consider those things then reduce the plastics so say the papers or the other things, options. yes, will be more for the society. Right. Yeah, uh, me too. I have one. Come closer oh, to the mic, please. I I have one very big problem with uh, recycling companies. Okay, quickly. We are on time, so yeah. So uh, I don't know what they do because uh, when you buy bottle waters and other recycling products, you see the recycling sign on, logo it. on it. Yeah, but after usage. You don't know what to do with it. The only the only thing I see it's recycled daily is pure water rubber. What about the bottle waters? What about the glass? Recycling. They are, they, they another, are left, another thing to look they at. They are left unattended. So imagine every uh, recycling company to step up his or her game so that uh, we can get rid of this plastics and other stuff in the, in the environment. President, young boy, and now you Finally, to the Ghanaian youth, our anthem says, Arise, Ghana youth. I didn't write that. They said, Arise. Don't disappoint whoever wrote that statement. There is a reason why you were told to arise. They know the time will come. If you don't do nothing, your future is nothing. Arise. The time is now. Arise. Indeed, and on that note, the time is now for us to wrap up and be off your airwaves. Stay tuned to 3 Music TV and of course Plus 89.9. Check out this video and more on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook and all socials. The name is Serial and we are out.